friends, welcome back to the shop. If this is your first time here, I'm Dana. And I'm Art. And today's episode comes by way of our channel sponsor, Cozy Art. We love Cozy Art. If you have not seen the episode of our gazebo, <laughs> we'll post a link up top, mm -hmm. but we absolutely love that thing. A Cozy Yard is an international company that has been in manufacturing for 15 years and they service the outdoor furniture market. But they also have subsidiaries that produce auto accessories and tools just like the product that they sent to us to actually do an unboxing and review and install on Dana's 2010 Subaru Forester. And that is the Tomic full set auto seat covers. I'm very excited because these are waterproof and Dana has really worked her 12 year old Forester hard between the normal use but transporting animals and really using a Forester the way that it's supposed to be used. Loved. Well loved. That's a good term, well loved. <laughs> it's a Subaru. So let's get in to actually unboxing this, uh, taking a look at these, and walking through on actually getting them installed. I'm okay. excited. Ooh, it's already nice. So I am impressed just right out of the box, literally right out of literally. the box. Uh, I've had seat covers before, but they were never protected and shipped in a carrying case like this. So that is a really, really good sign. Second piece is just how they look and feel. Uh, this, These are not your cheap neoprene seat covers that you could end up <laughs> buying at your local corner auto parts store. No, these look every bit like the uh, Amazon and the, the description of them fits. Yes, and these were purchased directly from Amazon. We'll actually post the link in the description box. It feels like leather. Mm -hmm. It actually has bolster padding, additional lumbar padding, Glossy black trim. I'm impressed. I'm excited about this piece right here. Yeah, it's a that, lumbar protection. That's missing in the Forester. It is. Yeah. It's severely lacking. So in addition to the seat covers, we have a full manual. Oh, there's even pockets on the back. Oh, little map pockets. A full fold out instruction list to include part list. We have these are called chucks and the hooks for the strapping. Mm -hmm. It looks very simple. It does. It looks like the most complicated part is going to be our back seat simply because we're installing this in a 2010 Subaru Forester. Very well laid out instructions. That looks really good. And step one actually says to install chucks and hooks into the bottom of the front seat covers. So let me flip this open and see what we're dealing with. Okay, so I see four hoops four loops just like in the diagram and this is obviously the bottom this is obviously the top so the diagram shows two chucks in the top part and two hooks for the front of the back seat okay for the front of the seat excuse me so the chucks kind of look like little steering wheels they're cut not all the way through, and the diagram does show you how it's supposed to look in the end, but I'll show you how to do it. Just kind of loop it in. 
and get the other side as well. And just like that. Now the loops, the hooks, it actually tells you to separate a little bit. So you can actually, it doesn't take much force to pull it apart here, you can see. Not a whole lot of force at all. And it's almost like, yes. If you have a penny, you could probably use a penny if you don't have fingernails like I do. You can just jam it here on the back and it'll open for you, just so you can slide it in. And I've installed it backwards. <laughs> this is will be a good showing of exactly what not to do. There you go. All right, so I'm actually gonna install it this way. Do it the correct way. And it is a little bit of a tight fit at first, but there. So I've put the hooks so they will go towards the underside of the seat. So these are gonna go on bars that are under the car seat. Just like that. All right, next step is going to be the actual installation. Now installation says that you slide the top down first which means removing the headrest from your car. So I'm just gonna set this on the passenger side for now. Air freshener comes flying. actually slides down quite nice. Tuck it down a little bit here. Yeah, that fits. That fits quite nice. And it has zippers here. Looks like, yes, for access to the headrest. So that'll be useful for later. The next step of installation is to flip up the bottom of the seat and these chucks are actually gonna slide through the car seat and keep this crease tightly fit against your car seat. So it's really just as simple as taking these chucks, flipping them down and shoving them through the seat crack. So I've shoved the chucks through the seat crack and you can actually lift up on this flap here and you can see them here and you can just kind of pull them a little bit tighter, make sure that they're in there exactly where you want them to be. And they get covered up completely. Now that the chucks are installed, you can see if I pull on it a little bit, it doesn't really move a whole lot. The next step is to deal with these hooks. So. Pull the sides of the seat cover down on the base of the seat. Work around your seat belt. And now these hooks are actually gonna loop in. They're not gonna loop in on this adjustment bar for the seat adjustment. They're actually gonna go a little bit deeper all right, so every car is gonna be a little bit different and these are universal seat covers. So when you go to install them in your car, just pull your seat all the way back and try to get in there and look beyond the adjustment bar. You should see something for those hooks to hook onto safely. And that is the installation of the base. Okay. Since this is the Nephili edition, we have a full coverage 
headrest protector. Uh, it shows in the instructions that if we didn't have the Nephili, there was a different option for a headrest cover that just buckles in on itself, but we do have the Nephili full coverage seat cover. So it really is just as easy as putting on a pillowcase. I kinda wanna get it tight. All right, there's a piece of Velcro on the front piece. Just pull that in and tuck it under. And now this may vary, again, make, model, year of your car, but it has Velcro and it just, it sticks to the inside of the back piece. So on my 2010 Subaru Forester, it doesn't exactly fit perfect, but these were not made just for a 2010 Forester. This is a universal set. So I think this fitment's actually pretty good. I showed earlier, it's got a zipper up top so that you can put your headrest back in place. And I'm gonna put it actually all the way down because that's how I like it. I tell you, I love the lumbar. This little pillow right here is exactly what my Subaru was missing. That feels nice. I don't feel like it's slipping around. I can actually adjust my seat forward without the seat cover slipping. So that is, that's really good for a universal cover. We went ahead and did the passenger side off camera. The installation's the exact same as the driver. While we were going through and preparing to do the back seat, we actually found the other headrest covers that were referenced in the instruction manual. So we think it's pretty cool that as a universal kit, they would include two options for the front headrests. So uh, we'll just set those aside. And now for the rear seat. What we've done is we've separated out what is the bottom seat covers versus the seat back covers. So the seat bottom covers come in three pieces. There is a passenger side, a middle side, and a left side as well. One thing that we found we really like about the Tomek seat cover is its universality. And because it comes in three pieces, that means that you really have a versatile rear seat cover. It can fit something a little bit more narrow. It can fit an SUV that may be a little bit wider or more standard American sized. And that's what we've noticed about the rear seat coming in three sections is it accommodates multiple SUVs that way. For the next step, we have already done it. It is the exact same as it was on the front seats. And that was to attach our chucks and our hooks into the appropriate straps on each of the three pieces for the rear seat bottoms. So the instruction manual is very good about telling you where the chucks go and where the hooks go. So it's just as easy as following the instructions. For installation of these three seat bottoms, that is where it's gonna vary depending on your make and model of SUV. So in the 2010 Subaru Forester, I have the base model and this rear seat does not flip up. Referring back to the instruction manual, the instructions are very simple as far as order of installation. So you will do the passenger, the driver, followed by the middle, and you will lay them down and fit them, shoving the chucks underneath the seat back. The bottom part is to flip up the rear seat. My Subaru Forester does not have this capability. We cannot flip up the rear seat at all. In this case, we're actually having to remove the back seat. Which the 2010 Subaru Forester base model, we don't have any bolts or anything to undo when it comes to removing the back seat. All it really is, is three clips. So you lift up on both corners and the center 
and the seat just lifts out. Fortunately, with us removing the back seat, it lets us show you how to install the rear seat bottoms much more effectively. The front obviously has the lip, so what we're gonna do is we're going to tuck the lip around that seat, take the hook and loop it under. These chucks would get shoved underneath the back seat cover. However, because we've had to remove the entire seat, what I'm gonna do instead is just tuck this in as best I can. And this is where we were a little foggy on the instructions. The instructions show only one chuck being hooked into one hook on the bottom here. And it appears to be the one that's furthest away from it. So we'll take this chuck, we'll take this hook, and they will meet somewhere towards the middle. Just like that. And it is a very tight fit. So again, every single make, every single model may vary. We do the same thing on the driver's side, keeping in order with the instructions. And again, a very nice, tight, and snug fit. Double check, if you can, if you've had to remove your back seat, that that hook is gonna stay properly. Double check your fitment while you have the ability to do so before you install the center. This is where you wanna make any minor adjustments of tucking, and pushing this seat bottom to fit in the main primary rear passenger sides. Once you have your right and left side passenger seats exactly aligned where you want, now it's time to install the center. Installation is the exact same with one exception. There's no lips, so align the front with your side seats and then roll it back pressing down where the velcro is and that velcro once again is just like that seat cover the headrest in the front it'll tab down all throughout for the center seat and once again the chuck just gets shoved in the back when you flip your seat up you'll hook it in That is the rear seat bottoms. So now that we have our rear seat bottoms in, we can actually put my seat back in my car. We've successfully put the rear seat back in place. You can see that the fitment of the rear seat bottom covers how it fits together. You can still access your seat belt buckles. And one thing that I like is you can even still access one each of the child safety anchors. The back arrives with the left and right hand side zipped together. You'll unzip those and follow the instructions for inserting the chucks on the bottom loops. The top of the backs come buckled together. So unbuckle those when it's time for install. These will just buckle around those headrests. The center is designed to zip in on the seat back rather than Velcro. This provides a much tighter fit, I would imagine. Installation is similar to the other seat covers. So we will buckle in the top 
and tuck in the bottom with these chucks going through that seat crack and causing tension to hold it in place on the other side. I have here the passenger side. I'm gonna lift up on my seat headrest back, clip in the top, and then tuck in these chucks into this crack. One thing that we've already done in my 2010 Forester is we've pulled up the back flap so we have access to check the chucks. So we're just gonna go ahead and tuck it into this crack here. I'm gonna tuck in the bottom a little bit. We went ahead and installed the driver side. Installation is the exact same as the passenger side. And now we're gonna do the center. The center is designed with elastic straps. Now the instructions don't say this, but we have figured out that that is for your center fold down. So these elastic straps are gonna go around the center fold down and then zip into the sides. Now, when you go to install this, you'll notice that there's a zipper pull only on one side of the centerpiece. That's because the other side is already in place on the, on the driver's side. So this will go to the driver's side and this will go to our passenger side. Make sure you align it properly. Hook in your elastics. And then you can do the zippers. And that is the rear seat backs. I mentioned before about checking the chucks. In the 2010 Forester, and in most makes and models, you probably have some sort of carpet flap. It's attached with the little clips, so you should just be able to pull up on this and it'll release and reveal behind your seat. So I'm just gonna stick my hands down here and feel around for those chucks and give them a nice tug. I've laid out the three headrests that are designed to go in the back seat. Two of them are different than the third. So it's obvious that you can tell from both the manual and the picture and what you perceive is that these two will go left and right. And this one is designed for the center as it's a little bit smaller. When you look at the shape of them, you can tell that one is definitely the top and one is definitely the bottom based off the rounding as opposed to the angular sides. So with that, we're just going to Feed the bottom through, tuck the top around, and it clips in. And that is the rear seat headrest cover. It's not quite as nice as the front, and this doesn't exactly fit very well in my 2010 Forester. But once again, this is a universal seat cover. So every single fitment for every single make and model is going to be slightly different. In our car, the rear center headrest is shaped entirely different than the left and right hand. And it's actually got this fun angle to it. And that works really well for the center headrest cover that they gave us. So we've actually rolled it up to where it's covering the top and the head side. And we were actually able to undo our zippers a little bit and tuck in the center piece for a really clean look. Thank you for watching this installation video of the Tomic Auto Full Set Seat Cover. And thanks once again to Cozy Yard for the channel sponsorship and providing the seat covers to us to go ahead and install in Dana's Forester. We talked about it several times during the video, but not off recording, that 
We feel from a universal car seat cover, this is probably the best one that we've owned for the price point. Absolutely. It's universal nature and just the quality of the product, you can't beat it. And we're getting ready to take a very long road trip, so we'll <laughs> come back a little bit later and actually let you know how the comfort and rideability was with it on the long road. And durability, because yes. we are traveling with dogs. With dogs. Very important to all of you that are also pet lovers. So, if you like the video, or if you purchased this and getting ready to install it, you have feedback on how it fit for your vehicle, or have questions when you're getting ready to install it, definitely go ahead and drop a comment. We certainly appreciate it. We'll also include the Amazon link for this in the description box. But until next time, take care, stay safe. We'll see you then. Bye. Bye.